Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. So we're going to go to Santa Monica, to the junkyard, see what the hell we can find there, because we do have a side quest, side quest associated with that place. So that's our plan for now. Obviously we will try to do more in this episode. Uh, okay, Brother Salvage is right over here. Perfect, we don't have to go far. Do I go into the house? Sure, I guess. Can I use the computer? I can't. Um, this is the bathroom. There's nothing in here. Nothing I can take of your sorts. Whoa. Um. Hello? Something's throwing cars at me. I don't know what. Yo, that did a lot of damage to me. I'm not doing anything. Are you the one that I'm supposed to fight? I don't have a lot of lives. No! So I don't like that. Back off, vampire! Stay the fuck back! I did nothing to you! Tell me why you did it. What the hell do you care? I don't give a damn if you understand. All the same, I'd love to hear your explanation. Why? So you can pass judgment on me? So you can decide if those murderers deserve to be gutted? You'll never know how it feels, never! You broke the masquerade and risked the safety of every kindred. You think your bullshit vampire rules mean a goddamn thing to me? Nothing matters to me! I'm curious to know why. My family, my children were butchered by small-time criminals just looking to rob a house, steal a car. Take whatever. No sense to any of it. No plan. No ransom. Just kill them because why? Because they were there? In the way? There's probably nothing you could have done. Not one of them paid. My whole family dead. My life gone. I'm supposed to let that happen. I understand. I tracked them down. Hunted them. Caught them all. The one you saw in Hollywood. He was the last of them. And so, your revenge is complete? Revenge? Justice? Whatever you want to call it. All I thought about is taking these evil animals, ripping them to shreds, and licking their blood from my claws. You have to have more control. I don't know. Butchering those bastards was the first time I felt anything since my family was torn from me. I'm sure there are others out there whose crimes have gone unpunished. That's the beast talking. It has a hold on you. At least I put it to use. How many vampires have used their abilities for a just cause? At least I did something! Gangrel Jopara from Instinct, not the beast. <sighs> I'm supposed to owe allegiance to some vampire clan I know nothing about just because I was attacked? I was left for dead. Providence made me what I am. I'm doing what I was meant to do. You don't get to pick and choose what you like about being a vampire. I won't answer to anyone and you'll never take me alive, vampire. No one will take from me again. No one! Either we go our separate ways here or one of us dies. Should I... 
fight him. I don't really want to fight him because... You see, I kind of feel bad that his par not parents, his family was killed, you know? And I kind of get why he wanted to kill those guys, but... Okay, I'll waste no more time on you. Don't be surprised when you wake up sticked. I don't know. I don't want to attack him. That's it. Oh my god, you let the serial killer go, thereby allowing his killing spree to continue unchecked. I hope you feel good about yourself. <laughs> oh my god, okay then, jeez. Can I reload Santa Monica Hub? Okay, I'll go and kill him. Jeez, game, why do you have to do this to me? Oh, I can't go back. So is it okay? Well, then I don't care. I let the serial killer go. Awesome. Whatever. Where do we need to go next? Quest log. It's Chinatown, I guess. This guy that's yelling in the background right now, he reminds me of the same. Priest, preacher guy from Skyrim. You know who I'm talking about. Everybody hates him. At least I think so. Okay, welcome to Chinatown. First, what I want to do here... Obviously I should go and speak to Ming Zhao, but... I would like to buy a weapon. Where do I do that? Because I really want my freaking katana. <laughs> I have to have it. Ooh, I think this guy sells weapons. Welcome to Sang's Herbal Remedies. I am Sang. How may I assist you? You don't seem like the type to sell herbal remedies. Selling remedies is honest work. I came to America after discharge from Chinese um, uh, herbal remedies forces to help aging parents with store. Definitely, I am now American citizen. God bless the allegiance flag! Come on, I know you were in the military. <coughs> I, I, I know anything about guns. Chinese invented gunpowder. Yes, I know guns. Got any? Hold on, please. These are good remedies for many problems. No credit Ooh. cards. Excellent. Let's see what you've got. Oh, my. What the hell is this? Heart of Eliza. This glassy stone appears to have a liquid core. The stone itself is milky, translucent, rock solid, and unlike anything you've seen. Position of the Heart of Eliza conveys a melee bonus of one. I want it. Heavy leather. This is a set of heavy leather. Okay, I accidentally bought it. Oh well. Watch me spend all of my money. Katana. Finally. He has a lot of good stuff. Laser kill magic. Don't need it. Fey charm. This grim totem makes you feel as loud as a bird. Plus one to dexterity. We will buy it later. Uh, one sweet. Ooh, a blood pack. I should probably buy it. I'll buy a few. And we can buy better ones, obviously, but... I didn't have money. Oh well. Um, okay, let's see. Katana, let's equip it. Uh, mar an armor rating of 3. It hinders move movement, blah blah, whatever. Oh, I like this one more. We look better. Cool. Uh, okay. Now let's go speak to Ming Zhao. Yeah, we should do that first, you know, to respect her and whatever, and not seem like a total douchebag. Uh, I think she's... or does she stay in the... Hmm. Now this is, seems like the tallest building, so... I'm assuming she stays in here. Can't speak to any of you. 
Because Gary said that where she stays looks like a temple, so... Hello? Um, I'm sorry. Dinner service stopped a little while ago. But our lounge is still open. Just passing through. The lounge is right over there. Um... Uh, yes? Uh, sorry, I thought you were someone else. That's weird. Can I speak to this person? Nope. Why? <laughs> Didn't I? Hey! Whoa. Um, that's not where I'm supposed to go <laughs> at all. Just a regular restaurant, which I mean, I think we can get the side quests there. So we might have to go back there later. Uh. Huh. Hey, you! You want your fortune read? You give me five dollar. I give you secret Chinese enlightenment. Only stupid person not want to know future. Sure. Why don't you tell me my future? Five dollar. Here. You going to go to a fancy restaurant? You going to order snails? Don't eat them. That disgusting. Snail very dirty. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's a good fortune reading. Welcome, kindred. And thank you for respecting our traditions by announcing your presence in our domain. I am Ming Zhao, High Priestess to the people of Chinatown. Can I get you anything? Tea, perhaps? No, no tea, thank you. Ah, that is right. Your kind drinks solely of mortal blood, correct? No longer may you partake in the simple pleasures of the mortal realm. A shame. You can? Yes. We Kuei Jin are similar to you kindred in fewer ways than you might imagine. You are vampires, right? <laughs> we are supernatural. That does not mean we are like yourself. We are beings returned through the second breath for a purpose. Second breath? The second breath, our rebirth into the supernatural form. It is a spiritual awakening, not some lowly blood ritual meant to spread a despicable curse. But we are similar. We share superficial similarities. Quajin feed on essences that can be found in blood, yes. But as we refine our existence, rarely are we lowered to consume the bodily fluids of others. How else are we similar? Most of us are also banished from the realm of the sun. Although we suffer rot instead of burning, the day's light is no more kind to our existence. So as a mortal, you can choose to become supernatural? No, we do not choose. But events of our lives can awaken dark spiritual energies. We are not born of the whims of another as the kindred are. So why are some chosen to become supernatural? The reasons are as numerous as the Quajin themselves. Each is reborn with a purpose that they must find. Once their path is evident, they must seek to fulfill it even if it takes eternity. I have a few more questions. What can I help you with? Uh, I'm looking for a missing Nosferatu. So, the great Nosferatu have lost an agent, have they? It was not by my hand, if that's what they think. Do you have any idea where he could be? I don't know where he is. Perhaps you should speak with Wong Ho about this. Who is Wong Ho? Wong Ho owns the Red Dragon restaurant. He's a prominent businessman who has garnered much respect among his people. If something is amiss in Chinatown, he may know how to help you. 
I'll head down to the Red Dragon. I grant you permission to operate in the Quajin domain. For now. May you find your path, Kindred. Thank you. Okay, let's leave because I don't like that woman at all. The hell? Can of sardines. The hell is happening? They kidnapped a girl? A white cloud... Where is the red dragon? Is this the red dragon? Restaurant? Was there something else? I'm here to see Wonko. Second floor, have a good night. Hello? <laughs> no, I'm still at I don't know. Why would I want to rush home right away? I do like that. <laughs> what else? With a what? Oh, you're in the kitchen. Yeah, they were on sale, so I bought some. You did too, like zucchini. They took her. They took her. Who did they take? Kiki, my daughter. They grabbed her. They called and said, Wong Ho has meddled with Tong for the last time. This might not be the best time, but Ming Zhao sent me to talk with you. Ming Zhao? Oh, of course. Please forgive me, but as you can see, I am in a most terrible situation. I am Wang Ho, owner of the Red Dragon. Again, I apologize for my inconsiderate behavior. No problem. What's going on here, Wang Ho? The Tong. A local street gang here in Chinatown just broke into my restaurant and kidnapped my daughter at gunpoint. The Tong go more bold every day, and now they have my Kiki. That makes Mama angry. What? Do you know where she is? I'll go get her. No. The Tong have many... Uh, wait. Please excuse me a moment. Hello. Zhao. Huh? Yes. How did you... Of course. I see. Thank you, my friend. Your debt has been repaid a thousand times over. Yes. Of course. Goodbye. That didn't sound like tongue. That was... Someone who owed me an old debt. It has been repaid. I know where the Tong are keeping my daughter. Just tell me where and someone better call the coroner. Kiki is being held at the Lotus Blossom, a massage parlor here in Chinatown. If you bring her back to me, I will help you in any way that I can. Of course, I'll bring her back safely. Thank you. I shall wait here until you return. Strike fast. The Tong will not be expecting anyone so soon. Good luck, my friend. See ya. Okay, let's go rescue his daughter. Now we need to- I'm- I think they went this way, so... Yeah, the parlor is right over here. The Lotus Blossom. I uh, can I enter through them? I don't want to talk to you. Move! He's just a thug. Can I enter the place through another way? That's some kind of nightclub.
Okay, I think this is where I need to be. been a while and I need it. she's being kept in here okay so we need to get that key right um let's see this is how we probably entered the place but wait wait a second i'm lost i don't know where i'm going was i here i think i was That's the exit. Great. This is the entrance. Oh my god. Out of all of the places I could get lost. Money envelope. Nothing in here. Excuse me? No. I can't speak with her. Okay, why the hell am I so lost? Can I use blood buff and open that lock? Please tell me I can. Uh, 
Was there a gear? I should double check. No. Great. Kiki, are you in here? Please tell me you are. You bitch! I can't! I can't breathe in here! Yeah, that's why I'm letting you out. What? Yeah, who are you? You're not with the tongue. No, I'm not with the tongue. Didn't I just say that? You may not be with the tongue, but you seem to be as smart as they are. Are you Kiki? Yeah, I'm Kiki. Who the hell are you? The Tong Welcoming Committee? I'm here to rescue you. Your dad sent me. Oh, I'm so impressed. What? Like you want me to thank you or something? In your dreams, bitch. Keep talking like that and I'll shove your ass back in the closet. Okay, okay. Man, you don't have to get all sensitive. I'm sorry, okay? That's better. Let's go. Jeez. Well... Let's go through here. No, wait. Down. Bad girl. Why does she have to be a bitch about it? You know, I'm saving her. You don't have to act though, you know. You have rescued Kiki, though you feel like killing her instead. You should go back to Wang Ho and collect his offer of help. Excuse me? Where is he? I'm going the wrong way. Let's play in the third person view. Where the hell am I going? God damn it. This is the temple, I have to go over here. Was there something else? Wang Ho. Second floor, have a good night. Returned to me my greatest treasure. Kiki told me how you rescued her. You are a woman of great courage and honor. Thank you. Of course. Did you ever find out why the tongue took her? No. I have not been able to find out why they took Kiki. But I fear that it goes much deeper than the tongue. What do you mean? For a long time I have been trying to clean up Chinatown. It was a difficult job, but the community came together, and we started to take back our streets from criminals like the Tong. Businesses reopened. Families moved back into their homes. What happened? The Tong looked stronger than ever. Yes. I thought that the Tong were almost gone, but then something happened. Their numbers began to grow, and suddenly they had a lot of money to buy weapons. With them followed the drugs and the violence. It is almost worse now than before. Someone must be pulling their strings. I do not know, but there is a change in the air. I meditate, but my spirit is restless. 
The words of the I Ching are dark and unclear. Everything seemed to change as soon as... Uh, what? As soon as what? I am sorry. I have said too much. Fine. I need your help. Of course. What can I help you with? I'm looking for someone who's gone missing in Chinatown. Who is this person? His name is Barbas. He's uh, a business associate. Hmm. What else can you tell me about him? He's in surveillance technologies. A computer geek. I see. Oh, I pressed that. I do not think I could find him for you, but I know someone who could. Cool. Where do I find this person? His name is Zhao. He is the man who called me and told me where Kiki was being held. Zhao has many connections. He owns an import-export warehouse in Chinatown. Go and see him there. I will call ahead and tell him to expect you. Thanks, Wang Ho. I appreciate it. This elevator is so annoying. I just can't. Okay. Ah, uh, warehouse. Hmm. I want to see. First, if I can, can't enter here. We should collect side quests, if that sounds right. Um, do you have a quest for me? There is something in this door for everybody. Yeah? Everyone gets what they deserve. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I'm reminded of a story. A thief named Lin was asked to steal an emerald for the head of his gang. The gem belonged to a man in a Hong Kong triad. Most would refuse this danger, but Lin was anxious to do it, and indeed he did. Uh huh. When Lin returned, he did not want to part with the emerald he stole. He felt that the trouble he went through to take it made his ownership legitimate. The man who hired him did not feel the same way, nor did the man he stole it from. Do you know what happened to Lin? Are you Lin? No. Lin was caught. One man has his gem back, but Lin's employer has nothing. I'd heard this tale from him when he visited my store. Sadly, I had nothing to sell him. So? Lin's eyes wanted more than his hands could keep. Ambitious eyes are, sadly, not for sale here at the moment. Though I do have a buyer interested. Do you know when the next eye harvest is, by chance? Eye harvest? Lin's body is being kept in a freezer in the back of a local noodle shop, I hear. There are people there who want him, intact. But I think his eyes would fill my shelf nicely if they were to wander in. I gouge hell. A fitting punishment for Lin. That's sick. I'll get them. I knew you would. What other reason to waste words on the ill-fated? You sell weapons? I sell things many would find cruel. But weapons? No. I'm looking for someone, real ugly, snooping type. Seen anyone like that? 
No. What's your story? How rude of me not to introduce myself. You may call me Mr. Ox. This is my shop. Do you find it interesting? There are no two like it on the road to hell. You should probably fire your advertising guy. Excuse me. Okay, he gave us a quest, an interesting one, I guess. Mr. Ox wants you to harvest Lin's eyes for him. His body is being kept in a freezer in the back of a local noodle shop. A pretty interesting quest, I guess. And uh, now where's the noodle shop? <laughs> I want to go there. Um. Judging by this picture, I would assume this is the noodle shop. But how do I go there? Through the back? Probably not through the sewers. Oh wait. Ramen. Um, I hope police won't attack me <laughs> because I did that. That would be awful. Oh well. I like how they didn't see me. That was the fastest quest I ever did. If the game wouldn't freeze every freaking time I want to exit. Mm. Okay, let's go speak to you. Yo! Stop it! Okay. Jeez. Um, hmm. I'm assuming this is when I exited out right now, right? And he'll attack me. Do I go here? I mean, I can talk to Mr. Rex again and skip all of the conversation to make it faster. Okay. Let's do that. Haha, uh -huh. take that Chinese triad. I can steal eyeballs from you and you don't even notice that. Okay, let's go back to you, Mr. Ox. The hell was that sound? Eh. I'm not going to go and investigate that. I have your eyeballs. You are always welcome here. Here are the eyes. Mm. Yes, they stare ambitiously. Hello, Lin. Do you like it there? These are an excellent addition to my shop. Here, please accept this as a fair trade. I have another task. If it piques your... Curiosity. Let's hear it. I need you to be a bad luck farmer. Do you know what this is? No. Why don't you tell me? A customer has bought an unlucky talisman from me and wishes it delivered to an enemy of theirs. I need you to place this in the locker of a patron at the Lotus Blossom Massage Parlor. So that the bad luck can bloom. That's all? Okay, I'll do it. My customer has placed a black circle on his enemy's locker. Plant to talisman. Bad luck, farmer. <laughs> sure, whatever. I'll see what I can do.
And we will do that in the next episode, everybody. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want more and if you enjoyed it, obviously. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a great day. Goodbye.